Hey guys, thank you for joining this video today. I'm gonna to do a QA. and a So Q&As are probably like my favorite things to do because it's a question that you guys have asked and I love to have a chat, obviously. So I think I screenshotted them. I asked on Instagram about a week ago for you guys to um, give me some questions. So let me just get them up. <laughs> A funny memory of you and me kicking back. You must remember one lol. Okay, so this is uh, from an old mate of mine and at first I was kind of like, eh, I don't really remember anything special and then I thought about it and I was like, oh my fucking god. So basically when he and I first started talking, um, I was in the middle of this DJ competition, right? So I had to sell tickets for it and he lived on the other side of the city and I lived on this side of the city, so probably like an hour apart. Um, and it was the day before the competition and he was like, I'll come meet you for coffee. Um, I'll buy a ticket off you and whatever, cool. So we're sitting there, I don't even think I was drinking a coffee. I like coffee now, but only if it's coffee, milk and ice. So I think I probably just had like water or something. Anyway, so sitting there having a coffee, whatever, and the waiter, whatever they're called at coffee club, comes to the table and he's like, hey guys, how are you going? And I don't even know like why this came into my head, but I just randomly thought like, I've just met this guy, I'm just gonna fuck with him and see how he reacts. And I said to the waiter, go, we just got engaged. And the guy I was sitting with was like, yeah, yeah, we got engaged, blah, blah, blah. And just went along with it. So I was like, what a legend. Anyway, and then the waiter goes like, oh, how exciting. Like, congratulations, guys. Coffee's on us today. Like, you get it for free. And I was just a bit like, <laughs> but nah, I just, I don't know. Put him to the test, see if he could handle my sense of humor. But yeah, it was super funny. So, all right. One of my mates has asked, why do you think Dr. Pepper is such an underrated drink? I don't even fucking know. I don't even think I've had it. So if it actually tastes like pepper, ugh, like, nah, not for me, not for me. So it's probably why it's underrated because it's gross. I think I've heard from people, does it taste kind of like, I don't know, pe peppery, cinnamony, like, okay, I know nothing about it, so, excuse me. All right, someone's asked, dream job, not something you'd settle for, but something that would be a favorite thing to do. Um, I think my dream job is the things that I'm working towards. So I obviously really enjoy working in makeup. Actually, here's a bit of a dream job. This is an interesting one, right? So obviously I was just talking about the DJ competition I did. That's what got me into DJing in the first place. And that was back in 2011, right? And so for probably a year after that competition, um, I was trying pretty hard to like get into the industry. So I was like promoting clubs, playing in clubs, but like, putting a lot of effort into it basically and like you know I'd come home I'd practice I'd do mixes like I put a lot of my time into it and basically in the end and look if someone's trying to be inspiring they probably won't admit this but the cold hard truth about DJing is that you can be talented you can have what it takes like I honestly think I kind of have the package for it. Like I'm really outgoing, I'm fun, I'm a good performer. Like, you know, I have a background in performing arts. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna be on stage and be those type of DJs that's like drops a banger and it's just like, like I'm gonna be getting into it. Do you know what I mean? Um, young, fun, vibrant, whatever. But, and I wasn't even fucking old when I was doing it. I think I was 23. But the harsh truth is they want people that can get people in the club. Do you know what I mean? So. Being 23, a lot of my friends were working nine to five, Monday to Friday, like it was hard to get them to come out. And even on a Saturday night, like if I wasn't playing, if I was just like, hey, can you come with me? So it shows that I can like get numbers in the club. If they're busy, like they're not gonna come, do you know what I mean? So then I also put on heaps and heaps of weight. I'm mean, not heaps and heaps in that year, but like I did end up getting, you know, pretty big and pretty unhealthy. My sleeping pattern was bad, whatever. So I took a massive step back and I pretty much just inter exchanged. Yeah, exchanged DJing for fitness, got really into my fitness, and then I've still been playing um, music at F45, like I was already doing that, so. But, the reason I told you all this is, like, sometimes I'll see like a really big DJ, you know, like Will Sparks or Tiger Lily or Fisher or whatever, and they'll post a video on Instagram, and so the view's like from behind their head, and you know, you just see them drop a drop, and like the crowd just goes fucking psycho, and literally every time I see something like that, I still get goosebumps. And I'm just like, there's something in me that's like, still got the itch, you know what I mean? So I feel like that would almost be a dream job. Like, to think about being a traveling DJ, just like rocking out and having those moments that I see in the video. Like now that I, I don't even really think about this much, but now that I've read that question and thought about it, I'm like, maybe that is a dream job of mine, you know? Um, but besides that, obviously, I still wanna stay really involved in the makeup. I don't wanna get involved in that to the point where like, I'm doing 
TV, I mean makeup for TV. Then again, who's to say I wouldn't do it? I don't know, but I just don't like visualize that as the dream. But just event makeup, obviously if I could do celebrities makeup or something, that would be cool, but that's more where I'm interested, like um, special occasion makeup. So yeah, just to continue building up my business, have a successful business, and uh, once I finish my cert four, I'd love to be a successful personal trainer. Like I don't wanna be, you know, having two clients a week. Like I really wanna make a big goal of it. Um, and potentially start posting a lot more fitness content online and stuff as well. So, and now that I'm doing the YouTube stuff a little bit more, um, I would like to be a bit more successful, whether it's YouTube, content creation, not like influencer, but like when people say, like, what's your dream? Like, what do you want to do in life? Don't ask me why I'm brushing my hair right now. Let's just ignore it. I literally always just say, I just want to be paid to be me. Like whether it's, you know, I have my own podcast or I'm on a radio show or I go on reality TV or I, you know, and it's not about the fame or the attention. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. I literally just want to share myself and my personality with the world and whatever I'm doing, I want to have the opportunity to do that. So it's like, yeah, I just want to be paid to be me. I don't know how to explain it, but that's a really long answer. But yeah, I'd say that's my dream jobs, dream jobs. Quit when it says, quit when it says. <laughs> what is your favorite life motto? I don't know if this means favorite quote or motto, um, but I'm just, it's so, why, stop looking at the viewfinder channel, like stop, 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 stop. Um, this is so cliche, but honestly, everything happens for a reason or what is meant to be will be. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of one in the same. Oh. I feel like they're slightly different, but they kind of go hand in hand a little bit. And I just feel like it, it just can, if you really truly believe that everything happens for a reason, then it can get you through so many shitty times, like whether it's a breakup or something, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, yeah, you think, oh, we're going to get back together, blah, blah. But if you just steal yourself and just, if it's meant to be, it will be. Something like that. Or if you're going for a job and you don't get it, like everything happens for a reason. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes... It can also be about like finding a positive and a negative and it's, yeah, look, it's not ideal because sometimes you have to find a positive and a negative, but the negative still really fucking negative. It's like, you know, my dad obviously passed away. There's no way that I'm like, oh, well, I'm glad that happened because like, here's a positive, but you know, to try to take something good out of it. You know, I learned so fucking much. I won't go too much into it. I spoke about this a lot in my last video, um, but there were definitely positives to take out of that experience in terms of like how much I grew and you know even mum used to say like you really just seem like a woman now which is like Ugh. I don't know the, the word woman on me just makes my like skin crawl a bit I'm just like I'm fucking young man I don't know but she just said that I grew a lot and yeah so yeah I just believe even the hardest of things in life like everything happens for a reason and you just have to trust it even if what's just happened really isn't pleasant and it's kind of making you sad like you're going on to bigger and better things. So I, yeah, it seems so cliche. I almost want to get it tattooed on me. Like everything happens for a reason. I'm like, it's so cliche, but like I fucking feel it in my soul. You know what I mean? So I don't know. What is your favorite Exy and drugstore foundation? Also your favorite nude lip combination at the moment. Love you. Oh, how cute, mate. Love you too. Oh my God, this girl's actually so nice. Like particularly when I've posted stuff about body to small of you on Instagram, she's literally so fucking nice. Anyway, um, Exy, so expensive. Um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, hungy, hungy, hungy. It's medium-ish coverage. It's, yeah, look, if you've got like, if you really like a full coverage, it's probably not gonna be for you. Like if you're more of like a Mac Studio Fix kind of girl, then no, but I don't like my coverage too full. Like even looking at my face now, it probably looks pretty full, but I just use this. And then, you know, some concealer and stuff under my eyes. So, oh, I've got a bit of an earache. Fucking piss me off. Like I can barely hear myself. It's like, uh -huh. and then drugstore foundation. I don't even know. I'd have to go have a look at my collection. I'm trying to think. Oh, actually, probably L'Oreal True Match. I literally haven't used it in so fucking long, but I feel like it's quite similar to this. But I think you could. Oh, you can probably build them both up about the same. I think they're quite similar now that I think about it. Yeah, L'Oreal True Match is so good because I just like, like I do like Studio Fix, I suppose. Like I use it on clients a lot. Um, but for myself, I just like something that feels a bit more lightweight and when you blend it, it's just like easier to move around, like not too thick. So even though I haven't used it in ages, I remember how good it was and that would, yeah, probably be my favorite drugstore one. 
Favorite nude lip combination. So I've done it literally in two videos in a row now. Although the one I just filmed, not sure if I'm gonna pass that. Um, let me get all the things together. So, Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick, Steela Patina Liquid Lipstick, then a bit of NYX 590. It's like a nude wind up lipstick. And then this like $2 Nude Hue Savvy Lip Gloss. That's what I've got on right now. And you can literally like, change the color of the combination a bit like if you use you know more of this or more of this or less of that or whatever but um that's kind of what i've been using on me generally i don't like wearing lip colors like i'm looking at this on camera it looks all right but in real life like it shows the lines it shows if it's dry i don't know and then it just fucking gets everywhere and yeah so but that would be my favorite at the moment top three life goals number one is literally just to be happy as fuck like, you know when you wake up and the sun's out and you're just in a good mood without even trying and you're just so fucking happy to be alive? Literally, like, I just want to feel like that every day. And I understand shit's going to go wrong and life's not always going to be hunky-dory, but that's definitely a goal of mine in life, just to be, like, really, really, really fucking happy and just satisfied and just happy. And, like, I know there's so many quotes around there, like, you know, happiness isn't a destination, like, you know, and you're going to have bad days and that. Like, I get it but you get what I'm saying. So that's one goal. Second goal is to be super, super successful in my career and business. So obviously I've already touched on that um, earlier in the video. I just wanna do really, really well and I wanna be super satisfied and passionate within my career and the jobs I'm doing. Like I don't wanna be one of those people that's like 50 and they've like, oh, I feel bad saying this, but it's true. Like that have just settled for a mundane job that just pays the bills and they're just, they don't really have a purpose in their job. They just work for the money. Like I really want to love what I do and not really feel like I'm working and just do very well. So that would be my second goal. And my third is maybe just to live through life with good health. And I understand there's literally only so much you can do. Like my dad got brain cancer and there's probably not much he could have done. Sometimes there's not a lot you, you can do, but for what's in my hands, I suppose I want to live a balanced life. Do you know what I mean? Hashtag balance. But you know, I don't want to literally live on vegetables my whole life to be healthy. I want to, you know, because it's mental health as well. I want to enjoy myself, but I suppose I just want to you know, get the nutrients in, stay as active as I, pos as I possibly can um, and take care of my mental health. And yeah, hopefully that can help me live a longer, healthier life if possible. It's not even about living too long. Like the thought of living to a hundred, I'm like, yeah, it's an achievement, but wouldn't everyone else you love be gone by then? Like, I don't know how fun that would be, but I just want my quality of life to be as high as it can f for as long as it can. So it's hard to be a goal. Like I said, you can't always control it, but I suppose the goal for me is to ensure in whatever way I can that my quality of life is as good as it can be for as long as it can. Yeah, if that makes sense. What inspires you the most? This one's tough. I honestly think just seeing other people doing well. Like, generally speaking, I think this seems really superficial, but I suppose it, it's kind of all I can think of right now. Like. When I'm scrolling on Instagram or whatever, and you know, you see other people doing well in the field that you want to do well in, and they're just like normal people, or seeing people that have kind of started from nothing and built their way up. Like, no offense, but like the Kardashians don't fucking inspire me. They were literally like born into fame, and because they're famous, they can just literally make a product and it's like, woo, big seller. So, like, I'm not saying I don't have respect for them or anything, but something like that doesn't inspire me. Someone that basically started out exactly like me and has got to where I want to be, that inspires me a lot. So, oh my God, I was literally just about to finish up and I got one more question. It says, skincare recommendations during ISO. This is a tough one. Like, I'm not really a big skincare person. I've used the same skincare shit for like, I don't know, 10 years maybe. And I've just stuck with it. So I use the St. Ives Apricot Blemish Scrub, like orangey white packaging. Um, I've spoken about this on my Beauty by Shannon Kennedy Instagram before. So if you go into the q and I'll literally go, all, go over all of this as well, but I actually show the product. So that scrub, I like, um, doesn't really matter what brand, but a lot of brands do like an antibacterial soap. So if you read the packaging, they're actually for like, acne prone skin or whatever which i actually don't have but i f i still use the soap and i think it helps i often get an exfoliating glove with that soap scrub my face look each to their own it can be a bit harsh i suppose but my skin seems to handle it fine and particularly 
when I'm wearing makeup, like there is no fucking way I won't do like a big exfoliate because I want like the smoothest base possible for my makeup. So um, yeah, the soap, exfoliating glove, and then the moisturizer I use is Natio Natio, however you say it. It's another acne one. It's so weird. I seem to use all these things for like acne prone skin, even though I don't have acne prone skin, but I just like this moisturizer because it's like, mm, like so plumpy like it just makes my skin feel so fucking hydrated like i love it um yeah so there i suppose the skincare i use i don't necessarily know how much i'd recommend it for people because each to their own but skincare recommendations during iso water and vegetables like literally 100 percent. get your fucking nutrients on the inside so it comes on the outside and drink your water and try to keep your stress levels down as much as you can like we all know stress isn't good for your skin so Thank you so much for watching guys. I seriously love doing chatty Q&A videos. They're my fucking favorite. Like even if I could do videos where like people asked my opinions on certain things or like, oh my God, you know what I would love? Like advice videos. Like if someone said, well, this happened, like who do you think's in the right? What would you do? Or, oh, that'd be my favorite. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys tuning in today for coming in and checking out my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great weekend.